on guys this message is due EA Bioware specifically so this is a rant video in case you didn't get that from the intro as that is not my normal intro this is as a gamer this is as a person that has supported Bioware as a company for as long as I have Baldur's Gates 1 and 2 Throne of Ball uh, KOTOR, Jade Empire, uh, Neverwinter Nights, Platinum, and uh, Diamond Editions. Uh, Jade Empire I owned on PC and through ASIC, uh, sorry, Xbox at the time. KOTOR, Xbox, and I owned it on PC. Dragon Age, I own. Mass Effect 1, I own on Xbox and PC with the DLC. Mass Effect 2, I own three different times. I own it on PS3, PC, and 360, and all the DLC. That's how much I enjoyed the games, up until two recent games. Dragon Age 2, and now Mass Effect 3. And not so much that I don't like Mass Effect 3. I love it until the last ten minutes of the game. This is not about entitlement. This is about, and I'm going to be quoting your game director, three weeks before the game was ended. Or, sorry, not even three weeks. This is February 17th of this year. The game came out on March 6th. To quote Casey Hudson, the game director, it's not so much a, that there is a fixed set of alternative endings, but all your choices really determine how things end up in the universe. So how you approach the end game. For every player, you're going to get a different set of results in terms of who is alive, who is dead, which civilizations have survived, which ones are wiped out. There is a huge set of consequences that start stacking up as you approach the end game, and even in terms of the ending itself. It continues to break down to some very large decisions, which not, it's not like a classic game ending. Everything is linear, and you make choices between a few things. It really does layer in many, many different choices up to the final moments, where it's going to be different for everyone who plays it. No, you broke it down, spoiler alert, to red, blue, or green. And I'll leave it at that. And I'm going to explain that. Regardless of which one you choose, the ending that you get is still the same. Joker and two of your squad mates that you took with you are running away from the battle on Earth. They don't explain why, but they are. In a Mass Effect field, they're running away. It ends up crash landing, uh, Normandy ends up crash landing on an unknown planet. Your two squad mates come out with Joker, and that's the end of the game. Roll through the credits, and you get a thing of inhabitants of said unknown planet, presumably descendants of, you know, the survivors of Normandy, and presumably it's all a story that an old person is telling a child. When do we get to the stars? When can, let me hear more stories about the shepherd. And that's the end. You don't find out what happened to your love interest, you don't find out what happened to the Corians or the Geth, you don't find out what happened to the Turians or Krogan. Nothing's explained. That's the end of the game. Now you can tell, talk about indoctrination, self-sacrifice, all this other crap you want. Oh, by the way, having to play multiplayer to actually get to the secret ending where, oh, if you destroy crap, Shepard's still alive, um, is kind of stupid. Um, but as you can read, all your choices don't matter. And for a game series that's touted choice, your story, blah, 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 all the way along, it means nothing. That is what gamers are pissed off about. I'm telling you, Bioware, most gamers would have been completely content with a Dragon-style slideshow ending in that regard. Because at least something is explained. I was hoping, after Dragon Age 2, that that was just a fluke. And it wasn't. Now you guys talk about listening to fan feedback from all this. Okay, fan feedback. Fan feedback from the PC edition of Dragon Age 2 is we wanted a goddamn toolkit. We didn't get one. We didn't get an update to the toolkit. We got nothing. Where's the fan feedback on that? Oh, it might happen. Yeah, okay, great. Listen to fan feedback? Then listen to this fan feedback. You have lost a customer in me. I've put well over a thousand dollars into everything you guys have put out. Well over. You won't be getting any more money from me until I see some 
type of real fan feedback. And as much as it pains me because you guys are like my go-to favorite for good choice-driven RPGs, not anymore. So I will enjoy my games up till Dragon Age, really. Mass Effect 2, I'll enjoy. And I haven't played Dragon Age 2 more than twice altogether. And Mass Effect 3, I'll enjoy up till that last part of the game, which I'll just not play. Because it's not about entitlement. It really isn't. It's about how you guys have toted choice and told us that, oh, all your choices will matter. And at the end, nothing happens. So you can try and PR swing it. At the end of the day, it's a Dust X Machina scheme wrapped up in Dust X that has been wrapped up in every Dust X. And that's what it is. It's lazy writing. Now you can talk about getting people to talk and all, all the theories. It's not just that. People are pissed because we've invested not just money but time into this, into a service or a product that you guys have offered, and you supposedly take fan feedback. Well, here's your fan feedback. Now do something with it. Fix it. So until then, you lost this customer. Bye-bye.